Hey everyone! This is the last time I am attempting to make this video. The past few times, the first video was like 12 minutes long, it was too long. And the next, well, the past few times I've just been trying to go so fast that I keep messing up and I keep getting interrupted. So, Julie talked about her motivating factors today and I wanted to talk about mine. Um, like her, she said she wanted to fit into a pair of shorts that she hasn't been able to wear. Um, that's kind of what I have. I have a really cute pair of long capris. Um, they're destroyed and they're just really, really cute. They're kind of long. They kind of look like pants, but um, they look like they would fit and they do kind of fit, but I'm just at the point now where I don't feel like wearing painted on clothing. Like these are so tight and I just feel disgusting when I wear them. I feel like I have this huge muffin top and they're just not cute on me like they should look, so I'll wait until the end of the month, and I'm sure by the end of March they will fit. Also, I wanted to talk about something called happy time, which is something you like to do, or something you love doing, that does not involve food or eating. And my favorite thing, well, one of my favorite things to do is read. And this is one of my favorite books. Um, I've recommended it to pretty much all of my friends. It seems like it would be a completely religious book, but I'm really not all that religious. It was just a really good message. And um, so this is a really good book. If you want a good read, you should pick this up. Also, Barbara Kingsolver has written a book called Animal, Vegetable, Miracle. And I have not read this yet, and I know that this involves food, but it involves healthy food and treating food like nourishment. And it even has some cool recipes in it. Um, I have not read it yet, but like here's a, a recipe. I don't know. So I'll tackle this one next and I'll let you know if I read anything good. Also, part of my happy time, I love speaking with my friends and just going and getting coffee or whatever. I've kind of given up coffee, but if they were ever to be in town again, I would definitely go to Blackhawk, which is our normal spot. Um, I'm not a big phone person, so mostly with YouTube or Facebook or just, you know, chatting online. Um, I like to do this thing called faux shopping, which you go to all the websites. If you're bored, you can do this. Go to all the websites you love, like clothing websites like The Gap and J. Crew and Old Navy and Banana Republic and Forever 21 and Urban Outfitters. You know what I'm talking about. Um, you go to those websites and you put everything you want in your shopping cart. Like anything. Don't even look at the price. You just add everything you want and then you close out of it. <laughs> Which is kind of depressing because you might see a lot of stuff you want. But it's really fun and it passes the time and it's kind of like shopping. Kind of like window shopping but you don't have to get discouraged and try on all the clothes that won't fit you. So it's kind of fun. Also, I like to exercise now, which is kind of weird. Uh, I never really liked it before, but now it's becoming part of a routine for me. Um, if I don't exercise, I feel really strange and like I should have done it and I feel guilty. So for the past, you know, a few weeks, I've been exercising every day and it just feels really good to get out there and walk or jog. And um, I also like school a lot. I like to learn and I like to read and I love being a student I just need to be in an atmosphere that kind of um, promotes learning because here the school I'm at here is just like 13th grade I feel like I'm back in high school and I just feel like I've been placed in this time machine and I've just been pushed back to where I was you know four, four or five years ago and I just don't like it and I feel like I need to be taught by scholars and I feel like I need to be around people who are just so dedicated to learning I just need to be in that type of atmosphere that would you know promote growth and learning so that's definitely not here but I'm sure I'll find it somewhere also I used to play the violin every single day I started playing when I was in first grade and I didn't stop until a few years ago. I mean, I really haven't stopped completely, but I used to play every single day at school, not at school, at my private lesson. I even taught students my junior and senior year of high school. I just really miss it. And down, down at Coconut Point the other day, hearing the youth symphony, I just really missed it. 
And so I wanted to show you a picture of my violin. Here it is. And so maybe I'll get back into it. I started kind of playing them today and I was able to tune it, so that's good. I mean, at least I didn't forget that. Um, I don't know, it feels weird to play it because now I've stopped biting my nails. You can see here, I have long nails. And um, when I used to play the violin, I always bit my nails and so I never had nails to worry about. But it's really hard to do vibrato when you have like a long nail like this because if you think about it, your finger has to touch up here and it, your nails just get in the way. So maybe I'll end up cutting them so I can play again. Um, and I like scrapbooking. I've never really done it before. I did it once. Last year in, in June we went to San Francisco and I made this huge scrapbook of our journey and it was so much fun and I took like two or three days when I was sick and I went and I printed out all of the digital pictures from CVS and I just went to Target and I went crazy and I did this amazing scrapbook and I'll have to show you it sometime. Um, but it was really fun and it took up so much time and it was a lot of fun. So um, those are my fun things I like to do that aren't involving food. I'm sure that as time goes on I will be able to control myself with food and maybe I can start to enjoy cooking more and eating but now at this time I feel like I have no restraint and like just this morning I had an egg sandwich so I scrambled some eggs I put some whole wheat toast in the toaster and I was just gonna have that but then I'm like ooh I want that egg sandwich I used to make all that long ago you know so of course I got out the mayonnaise and I didn't even look at the calories I just put a couple tablespoons on the bread and put a bunch of lettuce and tomato and it was really good but after I did that I went to caloriecount.com and I put in my breakfast it was like 600 calories for my breakfast this morning which is good because I'm still not hungry and it's like two o'clock so I guess it's worth it anyway Julie tell us about your favorite things to do not involving food or eating your happy time and I invite anyone to start this with us. I just joined the, the group Lose to Gain. Julie had joined it, and so I wanted to join it too because it seems like it's a really motivational group of people. And so I invite any of you guys on Lose to Gain to join March Madness. It's only the second day of March, so you can still join us. Create your own goals. And I'm actually already thinking of a challenge for April. So. I'm going to come up with something for April since Julie came up with a thing for March and I'm going to have mini challenges and all that good stuff so alright I hope everybody has a good day and I will talk to you later. Bye!